Right, team, Mr. Rito here. Let's continue with chapter two, looking at SID. Um, so, okay, let's look at <coughs> part A. So it goes here, root 27 plus root three, put it in a form where it's a root of A, integer A. Okay, so before we start, what we can do is 27. I can um, break this down into getting a larger square number that goes into 27 is 9, so I can do that, it's the same as 9 times 3, okay? Now, 9 times 3, I can split up, as you know the rules of in this asset, when you got a b root, you can split this into root a times root b. So what you can do here, likewise, you can split this into root 9 times root 3. Now the whole reason for doing this is the square root of 9 is 3, so this will end up as 3 root 3. So if 27 is the same as 3 root 3, then 27 add root 3 is going to be 3 root 3, add root 3, I'm going to end up with 4 root 3. Now that is the simplified version if you were to simplify this set. However, it wants it in this form where it's all as a root of an integer. So what I can now do is do the reverse. So 4 is the same as root 16, because square root of 16 is 4, multiplied by root 3. And as before, we split it up. We can then do the reverse and put it all under one third. Symbol. So that will be just 16 times 3, which will equal 48 square root. Okay, so in this case, A equals 48. Now, it goes to explain without using decimal approximation whether root 27 minus 20 is bigger or smaller than root 5 minus root 3. So let's start B. What you could do is start first of all with saying is, okay, I'm going to write them, um, write this one here, root 27 minus root 20. So I've got that. Okay. And on the other side, I'm going to get, um, I'll have root 5 minus root 3. Okay, so I've got this number on the left hand side and this number on the right hand side. What I'm going to first of all do is, I'm going to, let's just change this. If I add root 3 on both sides, and I add root 3 here. On this side, this one, root 27 plus root 3. Well, we did that at the beginning, root 27 plus root 3, and we simplified it to be root 48. So I can say root 27 plus root 3 is the same as root 48, because we did it here, and that's going to be minus root 20. Okay, and this one, I've got root 5 minus root 3 plus root 3, so they will cancel each other, and that will give me just root 5 on here. Now, what I could now do, I could now go on and do the same process and I could add root 20 to both sides. So if I add root 20 to this number and I add root 20 to this number, well root 20 plus uh, minus root 20 plus root 20 they will cancel. So on this side I'm going to be left with root 48. And on this side, I'll get, well, root 20 
is the same as 4 times 5 which is I can split and say root 4 is 2 root 5 and this will be root 20 is the same as 2 root 5 plus root 5 so that gives me 2 here 1 there 3 root 5 now 3 root 5 sorry Three root 5 and I've got on this side root 48 so what I could then do is change this into well 3 is the same as 9 square root of 9 and then 9 times 5 put it all in the one place so that will give me root 45 on this side I've got root 48 so what ends up being is this side is greater than what's on this side, okay? That would have meant that root 27 minus root 20 is, this, is greater than, it's bigger than, so therefore 27 minus root 20 is bigger than 5 minus root 3. Okay. Let's try another one. Okay. Find and simplify the expression a plus b root 2 all squared. <coughs> so let's start with the first one. I've got a plus um, b root 2 and I times it by itself because it's squared I'll get um, a times a gives me a squared then I get a times a root uh, b root two, so I'll get a b root two. I'll do then b root two times a. I'll get also a b root two, and I'll get b times b is b squared. Root two times root two is two, and I'll get two uh, b squared. Simplify this, I'll have a squared plus 2 lots of ab root 2 plus 2b squared. So that is expanded and simplifying this expression. Now, by considering this, prove that root 2 is less than 7 over 2. So this looks similar to this. Okay, so similar, but that's going to be squared and squared again. So what we can say here is a is the same as 1, and this is root 2, then b is minus 1. So if I say a, so this is part b, a equals 1, and b equals minus 1, then 1 minus root 2 squared it's going to be the same as this one it's b is minus that's minus one and that's one so that's going to be minus two root two and b is minus one minus one squared is one plus two this will give me I'll add this together two plus the one is three minus two root two and if I put it through the process again, and I'll put um, 3 minus 2 root 2, and I'll square this, I'll end up with 9. That times that is 6, and that is 
mine is 12 root 2. And this one will be squared, so that will be a positive, and that will be um, 2 times um, 4. Okay, 2 times 4 is 8. So in this case, I'll end up with 17 minus 12 root 2. Now, since this is being squared, we know that when we take this away from that and we square it, we'll end up getting something that's positive. So we can state that 17 minus 12 root 2 is positive. Okay. And then we can do 17. Minus, uh, take that to the other side, comes a plus, it's greater than 12 over root 2. And likewise, I can um, divide this by 12 and uh, get 17 divided by 12. That would be greater than root 2, which implies that is greater than root 2, then root 2, and both imply to that root 2 is less than 17 over 12 as required.